Skål gutte. Skål. Skål. Pour yourself a drink, it's Tipsy Wednesday. An original podcast presented from the penthouse bar. With us as usual, our host and editor, Björn. Hello. And of course, our host, in-house villain and owner of the bar, Junior. Hello there, hello there. And last but not least, our host, social, social media manager and video editor, Thomas. Hello. Yes. Have you two switched places? What? Or I'm not sure. No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought I was How the was at Bjorn and at you, but now it was reversed. So. I well, you just just look up an episode, and you will understand, and you will find understand. out. Understand? I will find out. <laughs> yes. Probably just my head. <coughs> It's all in your head. So this is a... Yeah, but it sounds like you're ga- we are gaslighting you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do we have this week? Um, a lot of stuff Bjorn? A s- a scarce amount of topics. Freeze. Yes, my cam just froze. I have no idea what's happening, but I hope you're okay, still... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, okay. I just wondered if you disconnected <laughs> or... No, no, I'm still here. Good, good. I'm uh, moving about again. <laughs> Don't move so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sit completely still. Yeah. Its vision is based on movement. <laughs> then if you or freeze up, like we that. won't notice if you just sit still all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, unnecessary crave for the new game. Yes. <laughs> what is this? What new game? The new game in question is uh, Monster Hunter Rise, it's called. Which is basically the new Monster Hunter game for PC on Steam. And I was like, ooh, this game, I played Monster Hunter World and I loved it. I should get this one. But then I was like, hmm, I did play Monster Hunter World and I enjoyed it a lot. But I did, I never finished it. I just played like for two days and I just got into it barely and I just stopped playing it. Is there a storyline to it? Or is it just go around hunting monsters? And uh, it's um, There is a storyline but that's not the main focus of the game. The main focus is basically like uh, grinding, uh, killing monsters to get their materials to craft new gear. It's basically just a slash and kill the monsters game. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so so it's like, should I really be wanting this new game when I could just go back to the old one, which I already own, and just finish that one before I even just look at the new one? You understand what I mean? I just, but I have no interest in of going back to the old one, even though I know there's lots of content still in that one. Yeah, if you don't it's just the crave the original, to just buy the new one and play the shit out of that then. But yeah, then, but, but it's will like you actually I... play it if you didn't play the first one. Will you actually play the second one? <laughs> That's the thing. I most likely will just do the exact same thing. I would just play <laughs> it for a few days, like ooh, this is super fun, and just like get halfway through it and maybe not even halfway and just drop it for something else like ah this is new and exciting anymore i'm just moving on Mm -hmm. it's like that's probably what's going to happen if i buy it but so yeah i should really just go back to the old games and finish those ones nah because i have nothing against the the old monster hunter world uh it was like, yeah, it was good in all aspects as far as I remember. It was like, I had nothing against it. I just stopped playing it because it wasn't that exciting after playing it for a couple of days. I wanted to buy that uh, for a short time because there was a Witcher event in it. Yes. And I wanted the <laughs> game for that purpose, but then people, I, I thought it was DLC, but then it was just an event, so you couldn't play as Geralt all the time. So I was like, ah, fuck this shit. <laughs> If I could play as Geralt, then I would 
by the game. You could probably mod the character to just look like Geralt. <laughs> yeah, I don't just want to look like Geralt, I want to be Geralt. <laughs> ah. Be Geralt. If you introduce well, you it to the game, it. then you should be able to play that character. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it was, if I remember, you recall correctly, it was just like, as you said, this short event with a certain quest line and a series of quests you could do with Geralt there, yeah, but... Yeah. You didn't play as Geralt. Ah. And there were a few monsters implemented from the Witcher universe into Monster Hunter that you had to defeat. That was the main focus of that event. I see. Yep. So, yeah. Sorry to disappoint you, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't buy the game. <laughs> so, so that's what I was getting at. Do you, like, get cravings to buy new stuff even though you have old stuff to finish up first is it like the the as as girls are with shoes it's like yeah i just bought a new set of shoes but i still want new shoes <laughs> it's like as with well, a, a gamer's in, steam library it's just yeah, no i, I bet enough. it's uh, you can probably uh, get the same vibe from watchers because you buy a lot of watchers Mm -hmm. Everybody has these web games, so it... yeah. So you could. Uh, I... Isn't it with every interest? <coughs> even if you're into cars, you're into bikes, shoes, computers, games. You always just want more. You're never no. satisfied. <laughs> well, well, that's a your problem because at some point you should be satisfied. Or grow tired of that interest and move on. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> no, but why should you grow tired? If they keep giving what you like, of course you don't get tired of buying it. Well, maybe you get tired of the concept as a whole. Let's say you're way into games, for example, and after no. years, after a lifetime of gaming, you're just like, I don't, I don't, I'm just tired of games. I want to move on, do something else. Sounds like blasphemy to me at the moment, <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> if no, that I, were to happen. Never move I, I on kinda... from gaming, Bjorn. <laughs> okay, no, no. Noted. <laughs> you can game less. No, no but when, when gaming is... Uh, but don't stop gaming. Yeah, I would say gaming is <laughs> kind of different because it's um evolving art. Um, mm. Well... Hobbies, in general, are evolving arts, aren't they? Yeah, for the most part, I, I guess. If your hobbies is... Like, hobby feels like such a dull word. <laughs> but if, if your hobby is like movies, you're just, you just consume all kinds of movies. You're just like, that's an, an evolving art form as well. Like old movies, they like adjust and develop as times time goes by you know yeah you you don't evolve it's just uh, movies evolve you still do the same thing you sit on your couch watching the tv yeah <laughs> <Just consuming. laughs> or go to the movies or go to, or the, go movies. to the movies i was at the movies yesterday yeah but yes. I, I, I i imagine that your taste evolves that it does definitely yeah movies you get more yeah. stingy <laughs> movies I yeah and like <laughs> as a kid that you like now and vice versa yeah yeah I, it's the same with games as well isn't it your taste in gaming Evolve your taste of in this no, fine world. I don't think it evolves. I think you um, <laughs> you refine ref it. Refine it, yes. You get a ah. taste of games <laughs> in the end. Perhaps, but I, I think there's you. I think I mentioned at some a few, I don't know if it, even if it was in this podcast or just in casual conversation with you guys, but if your first gaming experience is just Super Mario, just 2D, just go platforming through them, jumping on eating mushrooms and jumping on turtles. Yeah, that's the most epic gaming experience you've ever experienced. As a kid, the first game you ever experienced, Super Mario. Super was like, fun, though. That that's the that's the threshold for an epic experience as your first game, but twenty uh, years of gaming later, that's no, that's not as epic as uh, you, you've set the bar higher, and eventually you set you'll 
have consumed so much of this art form, let's say, that you're you've set the bar so high that you're not as easily impressed anymore. Yeah, but I I feel that you use Super Mario as a bad experience. <laughs> example, <laughs> a bad, it's a bad example. Yeah. that it is. It's a super, okay, okay. Super Mario is yeah, still fun. You can go back and play the yeah. Super Mario, and they're still fun, and some of the levels yeah. are still hard. <laughs> uh, <laughs> su- su- yeah, Super Mario still holds up really well. <laughs> I hate to say it, but yeah, it does. <laughs> Yeah, okay, well. <laughs> but um, you get my idea, yeah, at least. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, you yeah, yeah. a horrible example. Uh, you, you, don't see the, f- you don't see the old Mario games come out um, re-enhanced and stuff like Crash Bandicoot did. Mm. No, I haven't. Yeah, people well, still play Mario the old fashioned way, the, the old Mario games. You don't enhance them. Well. Yeah, yeah, and, and they kept making them. That they did. They kept making them. Uh, they stopped making Crash Bandicoot at some point, but they I haven't just, played it. They, they, they recently made yeah, Crash yeah, yeah. Bandicoot Four. Yeah, I haven't played it. They, never, they yeah. never stopped. They did a lot of Crash Bandicoot side games. Basically, you had all the car games uh, and stuff like that. Mm. Basically, yeah, Mario Kart in Crash Bandicoot style. Yeah, but that's super old, you know. Not all. Uh, Not all of them. Re- re- that's uh, that's old. How old? Uh, for the Switch? For it's for Switch. No, it's for the PS. No, don't Bjorn has one have one on Switch. Yeah, yeah, the no. remake. It's a remake. Not the car game. The, the racing game. What's race? the new yeah. Crash Bandicoot racing game? It's not you have Crash Team Racing, that was the very first one, and you had And and uh, Nitro. Nitro Kart and you had some newer game still. So, so I they, can't recall. They, they kept making them, but not as much as Mario made Mario, of course. Wasn't as oh. much of a huge uh, financial success worldwide as the Mario uh, beast that uh, <coughs> has become. A game I do want Night. to replay. <coughs> uh, an old um, game of the same uh, arcade. No, not arcade. What's the word? Platform game. An old platform game I want to replay is uh, one called Lomax. Lomax? Yeah, it's basically the platform game for Lemmings or whatever it's called. I remember that title. Mm. Yeah, but you hear this uh, lemming character running uh, like uh, sideways on the screen, jumping, throwing your hat at enemies, and uh, you can jump on them and stuff. Was it similar to Rayman? Yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> well, Which you was got a fun game. Yeah. You got a remake of the old CTR Crash Team Racing. That came out in 2019. Okay. Nitro fueled. Is that the one Bjorn has? Because that's a maybe, remake. Maybe. That's a remake of the original Crash yeah, Team Racing. Okay, 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 yeah. Okay. Maybe that's the one I have then. You got the insane trilogy. What? Yeah, that's the remake. Yeah, but that's one, not the. Uh, yeah, that's the original <coughs> yeah. games remade. Yeah, that's the and game then you mother got play when she visits. <laughs> yeah. Uh then you got Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart Two, which came out in two thousand and ten, for the three DS. Uh, I have a PlayStation Two uh, Crash well. Bandicoot tag team race game thingy. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but you understand. The last, um, uh, except from Crash Bandicoot 4, it was Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart 2, which came out in 2009, 2010. Uh, that's quite a few years okay, ago. That, that's what, quite a few years, And then they just remade the first three and the uh, car game. Yeah. yeah and then they come out with the, with the fourth game in 2020. Yeah. It's like 10 years since it's been a new oh, game. Okay, okay. And... What is this? Crash Mute Mind over Mutant? <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I think we're off topic, anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind <Again>. of. <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I crave new games. Uh, depends. If it's a game in a 
a new game in a series I already play, I would be really excited and will be craving it. Like a new Mass Effect is on the horizon. That I will probably buy as fast as it hits the shelves. Mm. You're not one to like wait for um, nah. uh, reviews. It, it hurts me to say because I don't watch game <clears throat> reviews or read game reviews anymore. No. Because no. of uh, gaming journalism and it's not... it's. Most for the most part, it's not very representative of how most people feel about the game. No, but that's Just... why you find a review on uh, YouTube or something by a YouTuber you actually like and respect. Yes, or you just simply pop into a few um, people who are streaming it as they play it, like Spoiler! watching it. What you get spoilers from doing that? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, so you don't do that. You don't do the thing that spoils the game. Well, but it gives you a good in impression, at least. The most real one, if you just watch someone play it. But That it is. But there are a few games I will buy without hesitation. That would be Dragon Age, Mass Effect, a potential new Witcher. Hmm. Even though the, the new uh, Dragon Age kind of flopped, or did it? The new because it was there, there's no new Dragon Age. <coughs> Inquisition. <laughs> yeah, that, that's not no, new. that's not new. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's as new <coughs> as Crash Bandicoot. It's as new as new get within the Dragon Age franchise, yes. Uh, no, yeah, the first one was really, really good. The second one was a couple of steps down. The third one was a step up from the second one, I thought. I liked them all. Good storytelling. A little bit repetitive in the third one, but the story was good. Hmm. Yeah, you just appreciate I... all the all the storytelling yeah, yeah, for yeah, the yeah, most yeah, part yeah. in games. Yeah. I'm much more of a. I appreciate the good story as well, but I can play a game for just the mechanics and the just the gameplay itself. I don't need a story if yeah, the gameplay is enjoyable enough. Mm. I can well, play just an action shooter or something if it's just I do that enjoyable as well enough. When I play um, Serious Sam or Duke Nukem or whatever. Not really a good story. Yeah, in those. <laughs> to me and Thomas plays Draft. There's a story, but he doesn't know it. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the story? Yeah, you don't know the story. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you need yeah, to read you to get the story, and I haven't read the damn uh, journal. That's not the main focus of the game anyways, though, isn't it? No, not really. But it uh, explains yeah. why why and how and why you're going island to island, and the coordinates, because you need to plot them, the coordinates, in, in this computer. Mm. Which, you, so, which you built out of material you found on the ocean. And on the island. So do you do you imagine if Thomas were to play any of the games in the Dark Souls series, where basically the story isn't shoved in your face, it's just hidden in optional dialogue and quest item descriptions, and you have to read between the lines to like get a gist of the story. But you could just skip the story and just go for the kill the bosses and kill the stuff th gameplay. Do you think Thomas would be one to like delve deep into the story of Dark Souls and the Souls games? Because there's uh, there's a lot of lore in those. I don't know. I don't, think I don't, I don't like I, readings. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah, but but, uh, but the whole community has figured out the story, and there's a lot of YouTube videos. Mm. That explains it. But I don't think you're the guy to go on YouTube and watch and learn the story no, of a no. game. You don't like to get a story told to you th through other means than the game itself. As uh, no, uh, uh, there are interesting games that I like. The the story is interesting, but 
it's a game I don't want to play, then I might watch a YouTube video that explains the story or something. Yeah, yeah, but, but have you never l l explored more of The Witcher through YouTube? Not too much. I have the books. I saw the series. I played all the games. I read all the content in the games. I played hmm. the Aren't game. There? I don't know. There are. I don't know, I think there are much I've missed. Maybe you should try YouTube and see. Yeah, I have done some uh, smaller vids, uh, but only vids like uh, details you might have missed and stuff. Uh, yeah. But uh, I didn't miss them. <coughs> you didn't miss them, okay. <laughs> it was like, well, well, why are you telling me this? <laughs> Who the hell missed this? Maybe some other guys missed it, but... Um, Probably, but, you know, I'm a completionist when it comes to gaming, uh, or that kind of game. So I do all the yeah. side quests and talk to all the people everywhere and read all the content you find throughout the game and whatnot. Yeah, but Dark Souls is kind of very interesting because it doesn't have any story. You have to piece it together through to text. Uh, through yeah, the item. through text and through talking to NPCs throughout the world and just figuring things out. Just theory crafting is not what it's called. It could have been a game for me, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Yeah, because it's for real gamers. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Give me the gamer fuel. <laughs> so only difficult, hardcore games are for true gamers. The rest of games aren't games. <laughs> like, what's the minimum requirement to call something a game? Can I crush? And to call yourself a gamer. So Candy all the Crush. moms out there playing Candy Crush, those are gamers. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Gamers. Fuck okay, Candy yeah. Crush. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> How would you see in the picture? Uh, the picture? Oh, Candy Crush? No, no, no. when um, Blizzard got bought by Microsoft. What does this have the picture. to do with Candy Crush? Because Blizzard owns Candy Crush. Ah. Blizzard activates. What? Uh, they do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And, and then the uh, um, Microsoft uh, published the banner for Blizzard where you could see Diablo, Hearthstone, no, not Hearthstone, but World of Warcraft, Overwatch. Mm, all of the IPs they uh, yeah, yeah, all the Yeah, all the hardcore games. Like, And at the end, it was like Candy Crush. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the biggest of them all. That was just a side note. <laughs> no, 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 no. But not as uh, I can post the banner because it's really funny. Yeah. Maybe we should link it uh, in the description or something. If it's just a picture, I don't know what you're. Yeah, yeah it's just uh, a picture. It's just a picture. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> if Junior well, can uh, link it, I'll uh, I'll edit it in right here, right now, live. Because <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> well, I didn't find a high resolution one because I'm just. Matters not. Just, just just send it to me or to us. You don't have to do it right now but you did here's a picture xbox plus activision blizzard overwatch diablo call of duty world of warcraft starcraft candy crush well it's um, it's it's on there it's like thomas did you just ruin your own recording now no i hope the fuck not no it's like kind of messed up on our on our side now I don't know, you've changed some windows or something. No, I did not change anything in that program. But I... Oh. I, I, I see it. But I swear, oh, well, I, I didn't do anything, but I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Yeah, but... Uh, we just... How the, f that. how the fuck <laughs> did this happen? I don't know. We turned into cropped versions. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, you're still here. Oh, I don't know I'm why gone. this why this happened. I'm here. <laughs> Technical difficulties. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm bringing you back. Oh, well, it, it, well, back to the picture is like, it wasn't quite as how it, I imagined it. It was like, I thought it was some side note, but it's okay. It's like, yeah, but Candy Crush uh, is just so next to World of Warcraft and Starcraft in the announcements. Like, we have Starcraft, yeah. we have World of Warcraft, and we have Candy Crush. <laughs> it's like <laughs> all of these hardcore series titles and Candy Crush. Yeah. On the equal level. <laughs> yeah, of I'll, course. Uh, because can hope I don't uh, can sh shit on this, uh, this again, but the picture would be like this. Ah, there it is. <laughs> I'll even enhance it a bit so people can see. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Xbox, Plus Activision, Blizzard, King, Candy yeah, Crush. Yeah, that's the uh, developer of uh, Candy Crush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For Candy hardcore Crush. gamers. There we go. I fixed it. <laughs> Everything is back. <laughs> Almost as it was. So... So now, when you're approaching a single mom or something, and she's playing Candy Crush, and you can go, "Oh, I see that you're a hardcore gamer as well." <laughs> <laughs> I imagine you got like a hundred hours in this competitive game. I'm just a hundred, <laughs> or maybe a thousand. I think the Candy Crush moms probably have an. Some of them have an ungodly amount of game time hours in Candy Crush. I, I just imagine. It's like sitting for an hour, two, every night. Like when the kids go to bed, they just scroll and do Candy. Do, do they do Candy Crush or they play Candy Crush? What do you do with Candy Crush? It's like, do you, you play it? or Yeah, of, yeah, of course you play it. What? I, just, I don't think Candy Crush is hardcore play. gaming, but uh, of course, if you play it enough, you're hardcore at Candy Crush. <laughs> I, th I think a lot of the draw with Candy Crush is like, it's some mind um, uh, puzzle, puzzle game, but it's mostly like when you click something, it it pops and it sparkles and it rewards you with a, with a lot of points and it's super enjoyable to just click and get the the rewards that's most of the draw with those types of games it's like you click it and it, things explode they sparkle into colors and you get points experience and gold and it's super rewarding to just click the buttons right it's fast easy no. and simple yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah. But have you ever played Candy Crush? Have you ever played the Match Three game? No. Well, I did play Tetris. <laughs> I played. I haven't played Tetris. I tried Tetris in a few. Huh? Yeah. The concept of Tetris. <laughs> I haven't played the OG Tetris on the OG um, Tetris arcade. Uh, you don't machine. have to be a you don't have to be OG Tetris player to say you have played Tetris. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I have played Tetris. Have you ever? But you that's, never... that's not a match. Th match three. No, that's it's uh, not a match three. The problem with Candy Crush is that it's random every time. Problem. It's a, yeah. Replay value. I hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's endless with levels. You don't play the same level like, over again. Yeah. So you're like, oh, I got a bad run this time. But maybe yeah. the next run will be better. Yeah. <laughs> because and then it's you randomly yeah. generated. Yeah, and then you have to buy lives. Mm. And you got the energy, right? That's a problem with Candy Crush. But anyhow, you should really try a match three. It's fun. But you're not putting a lot of effort into gaming. Which ones do you suggest... Puzzle quest. Does it uh, puzzle quest? Puzzle quest. I thought uh, you were uh, just no. going to say Candy Crush. <laughs> and remember your tactics. Tactics? Yeah, you must have tactics going in. <laughs> but, you can't well, just you bring do it. have. You need a tactic. Wait, can yeah, you but... play Candy Crush on your computer? Probably. 
Yeah, you can play it through Facebook. Oh no, no, no! It's a Blizzard game. It's it's only mobile. No. It's a Blizzard game. You need uh, Battle Net to play it. No, <laughs> no, I was just hinting to the Diablo mobile uh, meme. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but like uh, yeah. but in a match three, you can have a setup, right? You can manipulate the board for getting those huge score points. What the That's fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> Junior's camera oh, no. spazzed out, and I was like, oh, I oh, had no. a split personality <laughs> there just we go. for a few seconds. <laughs> I didn't do nothing. <laughs> It's my fault, it's my fault. <laughs> Where are you going? Uh, because you got set up in the match three games. Set up? Yeah, you can set up a big combo. And watch the whole thing explode. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the mind, the, the strategy uh, part of uh, a match three game. Yeah. And not just to match... Opti uh, optimizing your, your rewards. The explosions and sparkly colors. How? Uh, you get what? lots of them. So talking about mm. games, to bring us back on real games. I saw, uh, <laughs> real, real games, games there you said yeah. it. Real <laughs> Not mobile games, real games. <laughs> I saw uh, there's a free game on, um, on Battle.net now. I think Diablo 3 is free. The base game? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, it is free to play. I think it's been for a while. But I don't use my okay. Battle.net uh, very often. Yeah, me neither. It's, it, it's a... It's an old game. Yeah. yeah. But going free-to-play could... Uh, I don't know. Hey. With old games uh, you looking to... to That's yeah, game. just getting to it. Uh, so it's like maybe a way to like... Uh, get a new player base. A different player base or just new players? Hopefully, uh, new players. Period. So you can drop those damn uh, AIs on the game. Yeah, that's this. Uh, should we talk about that? <laughs> There's nothing to talk about. They suck. Yeah. There, it's <laughs> <dead>. <laughs> Well, there's a new battle royale that uses the same engine as PUBG. It looks really similar to PUBG, and I think it's a lot of fun. So, and the game that is basically PUBG but on steroids. Yeah. Well, that's that's wrong to say it. It's on steroids. It's um, uh, what's it called? It's PUBG on speed. It's like. It's PUBG with fun. It's PUBG with fun. <laughs> PUBG Turbo. Uh, it's called uh, Super. Super, Super people. Super people. Super people. Oh no! Now I messed up. Junior, you're just messing around no, with the cameras no, again. No, 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 That was on me. Okay. <laughs> Casting the blame uh. to the villain immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just realized I didn't have full screen uh, on the cams. And I did earlier, but when shit happens, it happened to the, when I fucked up the first time, when I opened Junior's picture. The, the big screen of you shrunk down. Mm. Yeah, we And don't. then I yeah. just edited it to make it fit with the shrunken down picture. And when I tried to <clears throat> make it bigger now, it fucked up the, uh, what everyone else is yeah. saying. So, <clears throat> we're good, we're good. But, <laughs> right. <laughs> but as for... With Super People, the game. It's like basically a arena... Um, what's that genre called? It's a... Battle Royale. Battle Royale, yeah. <laughs> it's like the idea of Battle Royale game doesn't excite me anymore. It's like... When PUBG was new, it was one of the few uh, Battle Royale games. Just that alone just was interesting enough to pull me in and make... Uh, after uh, after 1600 hours or so so like yeah I got my money's worth out of that game but now Battle Royale doesn't interest me it's like but nah. now there's so many of them yeah PUBG, and now the Valorant, ones that Warzone. do Valorant isn't a Battle Royale oh, I don't know I'm just throwing yeah. out it's, uh, <laughs> Valorant is very like Counter Strike but with uh, a few super abilities ah yeah okay yeah. Yeah, very much like Counter Strike. Yeah, but that's on a whole other beast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but 
But what that excites you now, then? I don't know. I don't know. That's what, the problem. What, the, what, these, gets your, these... what gets your gamer blood going? Uh, I know. Nowadays, it's survival games. Pro yes, Project Zomboid. This, like, super janky-looking asymmetric survival sandbox game. Would that, with would that uh, have been with lo and behold person? zombies, <laughs> no, it's the it's like a top down. Yeah, yeah, but would the game, the gameplay, been awesome in first person instead of top down? If you get yeah. the yeah, yeah, if you get the complexity but, of the game, yeah. but you can't. Yeah, because it's it's a super basic looking game, but you can do a lot. You can be super creative with. How you play it? Uh -huh. It's like you you can. It's basically a sandbox. You can choose your own experience. You have sandbox mode, and you have survival mode, and different difficulties, and you can create your character and select the world settings of how aggressive the zombies are. You can even select a setting where the zombies, you know, um, are act like uh, in the um, 28 days later with uh, that kind of zombie the um, the runners sprinters yeah the fast zombies the fast the really fucking scary zombies yeah you can s set all zombies to sprinters it's like yeah you can't move outside at that point that's not a basic zombie survival game at that point mm -hmm. so yeah you can just create your own survival experience in that and you can be Play it however you want, really, and just experiment. And that's just, it's like, yeah, I've been lost in that game for um, quite some time now. So, but eventually I'll grow tired of that as well. So, I've said it before and I'll say it again. We should play Dead or Winter the board game. Dead no, or what, Winter the board what game. We, what we really should play is The Forest. The Forest. forest. The yeah, forest, that's the game. kind of survival. Yeah, it was like super hyped when it was new early access, but it never stopped being good. It's it's just keeping being developed, isn't it? It never no. really flopped. Yeah. No, it's not not flopped. It's finished. It's done. They are done with the game. Okay. Have you yeah. have you played the game? No, but I know what it is. It is a survival horror game where you're building your own cabin. Fighting zombies and other abominations. Uh, you and just that granted is a first-person uh, perspective game. Yeah, first-person perspective game where you just crash landed because your plane got down. Maybe we can do that after Raft. Yeah, uh, it's, it's similar to Raft, just not a shark. You're on an island. <laughs> you're not on a raft. You're in your own cabin. And you a lot the of cabin huge like a. Fortress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah you yeah. can build basically build your base there, okay. build walls and yeah. The three and, of and us the, should uh, play it and stream it, perhaps. Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe. Uh, and um, uh, something else I just looked into. We should play Warhammer Vermintide. That's an old I've game. heard about that. That's not very new. It's an old title. Yeah, it's a co-op uh, game. Where you're running. Hammer Vermintide. Is that like a s horde survival game? Yes. But that's Warhammer it's and not 40k, right? Yeah, that's Warhammer. Yes. It's, it's like Warhammer inspired by like monsters. No, it is. But, it is no, Warhammer, no, no, but they yeah. have the Middle Age Warhammer and you have Warhammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. which is the sci-fi yeah. edition. No, yeah. it's a Middle Age. Yeah. It's it's the same as Left for Dead, just in Warhammer. Horde survival. I I imagine you guys have played through Left for Dead. No? Oh, I was sure you had. Uh, I think I have <laughs> Yeah. I, I think I have the game. I think I got it for free, either on Origin or somewhere. <laughs> you got free from Steam, not from Origin. I cannot imagine. No origin had the yeah, free game every uh, month uh, back in the day. Yeah, but this, this yeah, yeah, but they don't give away Steam games oh, it is made by Steam Valve. Game. Oh, it's a Valve. Yeah. Game. Okay, okay. 
One of the few. One of the few. <laughs> what? How many of you never played Left 4 Dead? No, I've never played Left 4 Dead. You never played Left 4 Dead? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never did. <laughs> never did. Holy shit, man! You're sitting here complaining. There's no more games to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then maybe if I, if I found an old game to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got one of the greatest co-op experience out there. Who? Oh, we we need to. S this is private, but we need to set up a. a it's each not day. private. <laughs> each day, each day at 8 a.m., we are gathering together and play a game. Uh, 8 p.m. That would be in the evening. In the evening, yeah. I can't. Uh, yeah. uh, every other week I work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but. <clears throat> and in the weekends I have the kids, and we usually eat and watch yeah. movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you have a life, so you're busy sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but we need because uh, this blows my mind that you have never played Left 4 Dead. We should find a day or two in the week to play for an hour or two, is what you're saying. Yes. Mm. <laughs> that sounds more realistic. Yeah. Even if it's Left 4 Dead, even if it's Forest, you know. Mm. Yeah. Magical. But still, I still want to get the game of uh, Dead of Winter on the tabletop. Well, yes. we could do that, I guess. You don't but sound we... super enthusiastic <laughs> about that one. No, beca like, no because... Yeah, well, we could do that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, because I know we need a little more people than this. We have off. people right here! <laughs> We're fucking podcasters. We can just ask <laughs> our listeners. Yeah, we can ask our vast audience. Yes. <laughs> oh, our fans. I'm sure we would get enough people to play uh, board games in tabletop simulator or something if we want to, or other games. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I can imagine. We just could. have to arrange it and like notify well ahead of time. Yeah, like, yeah. It, basically, yeah. it would be a, a podcast event where fans can join us for a session. <coughs> hmm. But <clears throat> let's move on to something uh, else entirely. Uh, thumbnail spoilers. Yeah. It's a minor thing, but it annoys me. It's like YouTube and Google, they know to suggest what I'm interested in, right? They know I watch this series or this anime, right? I'm watching Attack on Titan now as it releases. Only the day after, because it's like after work, it releases on Sunday, watch it on Monday. But lo and behold, uh, spoiler stuff is already being released for the newest episode of Attack on Titan. And don't use YouTube and until after <coughs> you've seen that. Yeah, you just have to banish all internet all in until you've seen the newest episode of whatever show you're watching that's super hyped. Because... In the thumbnail of the newest episode of Attack on Titan, I won't spoil it. There's a major spoiler of something there. Just just in the thumbnail, it's like... <laughs> Wait, for this Why? episode... Don't go to YouTube, Junior. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... You'll probably not... get the same suggestion as me. <laughs> it's this stupid video with this stupid thumbnail. Spoiled. Yeah, you've seen it today, for today's episode? Yeah, yeah, just before this episode. I was just scrolling YouTube, waiting for us to start, and I was like, that's a thumbnail for... Oh, Attack on Titan. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> and for all our listeners, <sighs> yes, we're recording on Sundays. So <laughs> yeah. So, oh. How is one supposed to avoid it when it gets posted the same day as the episode releases? Let's say for Game of Thrones, when that was like... Posting memes of the newest episode as it releases. Stay off the fucking like, internet until you've seen the episode. It, that that I've, I've got, be a requirement. I got, got burned on this as well, uh, not on anime, but uh, I was really hyped for um, a big pay-per-view wrestling match. But it, <laughs> it, it was on nighttime, and I had to go to work early. <clears throat> and um, 
when I had lunch at work, I opened YouTube. <clears throat> and the first uh. suggested movie was the new guy holding the belt. <laughs> in the new thumbnail. Champion in the thumbnail. And I was like, what? Fuck! No! <laughs> I went home and saw the match. I already knew the outcome. Yeah. I <clears throat> was not so excited then. And well, to just draw the similarity to just soccer or football, it's like, yeah, you didn't get to watch the game last night. You're watching the. You don't want to get spoiled by who won or the score, but lo and behold, it's the talk in the town, talk in the lunch break room. It's the talk everywhere. It's on every suggested video, the score, the game, the talks, the reviews, everything. So, like, <laughs> I'm not a soccer or football guy, but I imagine for those people who can't watch the game live as it airs and have to, like, avoid. Any social interaction or <laughs> <laughs> social media or internet to avoid getting spoiled by the score of the game. It's, it's like hard at work not to get uh, spoiled. <laughs> yeah, even if, uh, even especially if your colleagues are fans as you are of the same things, but they got to see it just before you did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that that's the that's the good point of being a weeb. I'm just like mm. here. I'm just at the dinner table, not the dinner table, but the lunch table. Oh, take a Titan! And everyone is looking at me funny. <laughs> I was thinking more like, I'm the only weeb here. Yeah. You guys have no power over me. You can't <laughs> ruin my day. You can't spoil me. You can Just can't. try me, bitches. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> and then you're. If it's a TV show and you're the book reader. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I know. Everyone's watching the show. It's like, oh, did you watch what happened in the show last night? It's like, yeah. And you're sitting there. It's like, hmm, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm 10 seasons ahead of you. <laughs> uh, a blessing and a curse. Reading it, the it, books it, it, it ahead worked, of time. It, it works often for Witcher. It didn't work because <laughs> they uh, messed up the timelines entirely in the first mm. season. And I was yeah. massively confused by that. <laughs> I, that says uh, a lot. I almost had a heart <laughs> when attack in my confused. sofa when I watched the, epi- the first, very first episode of season one. And something mm. happened. And then suddenly something else happened uh, to some other character in some other place and time. They didn't tell me the time jumped and nothing. And I was like, what? No, this is not now. <laughs> this is the <laughs> books from here. Why? <laughs> I was on Google at once. And what the hell is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, our thumbnails uh, for our episodes. Uh, don't spoil what happens. In our episodes. Yeah, it's because uh, <laughs> I just select a picture that we took this summer of the three of us, usually, or one of us, and just add yeah. that to the episode. <laughs> and I'm done. <laughs> just so not every episode in the movie list has the logo on YouTube. But it's 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 a thing. Clickbait. They want to make you click the video. They want to make the title and the thumbnail. It's super important to get your attention. Yeah, yeah, and the, the lo and behold, really spoilers, do... spoilers are super likely to get pressed on because it's super interesting. We do it that, gets we do your that mind with, uh, going. With our titles, though, we try to find some uh, some, some clickbait oh, yeah, 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 people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, interesting titles, but interesting titles. how 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 would we spoil a podcast episode with an an image thumbnail? How would we uh, spoil? You, you but for those who watch us on YouTube. <laughs> but that should be the new thumbnail. So just, just pick a picture of the three of us from the episode. I think, yeah, I, maybe. think I think I can do that in, in the uploader. I can just choose for a random like, picture of the some place within the video. Yeah, find some funny picture or something where someone's like, I don't know. Or, or I, can, I can edit uh, <clears throat> a thumbnail to us as well. Yeah, well, that... But that requires work, and I don't like work, so I want it simple. <laughs> I do edit the episodes, and that, that, that's enough. I don't need to edit uh, thumbnail pictures as well. So I just choose a picture that we already have. But now we have quite a few episodes up on YouTube. 
and I'm starting to run out of pictures from last summer. Ah, uh, yeah, from our summer photo shoots. Yeah, so I was, in the last episode, I was like, I can use it. No, wait, I've used that. How about this? And then I was checking the list, and oh, I used that picture as well. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wait, do you have like 60 pictures of us? I, mean, I have a lot of the, 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 the same, or almost the same picture, because we took many pictures with the same poses to get the one good, right? So... Yeah. Uh, okay. And I don't think I can use the um, the nude photos as thumbnails for YouTube, so <clears throat> I haven't used those, of course. But uh, <laughs> those would be super clickbaity, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and would, you, uh, but, <laughs> and you got so? like fifty of those pictures, right? Not fifty. Huh? I got uh, three maybe different. Maybe five. <laughs> I think yeah. four, four different. Uh, and only no, one you, of them you, is yeah. with the three of us nude and. It was a joke, you understand? No, if you had like fifth. No, 50. we didn't get it. It's like only your your mind is we, in the we, we had a serious We're talk about nudes. <laughs> you don't joke then. <laughs> you were sensible guys and you were <laughs> lewd boy. You disappoint uh, me. But this summer <laughs> we need to uh, take a lot of pictures again. Yes. Next Christmas I'll photo be home so we can do more photo shoots then. Mm. So All I've, the food shoot. I've had for the longest time this um, this idea of a Christmas picture. You and your ideas. Yeah, I have a lot of ideas. Like, <laughs> but I do get to express many of them uh, on our medias. Yeah. Uh, but I told you before, I had the one um, picture ID for Christmas where you and I put the star up on the tree. I lift you up and you put the star on the tree and Junior is yeah. in the corner tearing the head off a... Uh, Santa or something. Junior in the corner. Not in the corner killing but, Santa. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> killing Santa. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. That was my idea. <laughs> sure. Doesn't need to be in the corner, but you can look unhappy a little bit to the side of us where we are happy decorating the Christmas tree and he's just there with us, Santa tearing the head off or something. <laughs> Being, I just do any being, of us being, have being, 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 Santas yeah, yeah. with detachable heads? No, 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 you did. Like, you can buy one. I just imagined me in the back of chunking Santa. <laughs> <laughs> with, yeah, with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in about a year's time, uh, I will create this picture with the two of you. Uh, we we can spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, yes. <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> if if they remember, because we can we can fill it with a pack of ketchup or something. When I shank the Santa, everything should blow up in my face. Uh, <laughs> it's a picture. You're, I remember that we captured the exact moment the blood is in your face. <laughs> Animation. The effects. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we could do. <laughs> you could just stick right your face beforehand. And then just stab the Santa and look angry and have the blood in your face. You're getting way too much into this, you know? <laughs> it's like... <laughs> well, I'm all about stabbing Santa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, first thing first, the summer. We need the uh, pictures this summer. Uh, and we need to take a lot of them. Because I need to disperse them yeah. throughout the year. Or uh, over a half a year. Yeah, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, summer it's... Uh Sorry. It's winter outside. It's still, no, still see. far away. <laughs> <laughs> so. I see you have snow. <clears throat> I don't. You can't see it. It's dark outside, but no snow here. Today it was sunny mm. and stuff. Wow. It was, it was sunny as well here, though. Yeah, but I don't Yeah, have snow. we had a hint of sun. We just <laughs> saw it crest the mountain and it disappeared yeah. again. <laughs> I was asked yesterday if I wanted to play disc golf, as I usually do on Sundays. Yeah. And yesterday it was so goddamn windy. Oh my god. Then I rode my bike from work. And the, the hill, downhill, was like this. Or like 70 degrees downhill. And I really had to pedal to get down. <laughs> there was so much wind <laughs> in my face. It was wind uphill, so I had to pedal to get down. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it up. Um, <laughs> Then I went home, did a couple of things, picked up the kids who went to the cinema, and we walked through uh, through the city from the bus stop to the to the cinema, and it was windy, and oh my god, it was windy, and I had chosen my leather jacket 
Uh, but the zipper was uh, fucked, so I couldn't close the jacket. Oh no! <laughs> and I got cold. But it was hot in the cinema, so it went okay. And then we walked from the cinema back to the bus stop. It was super windy, <laughs> and we had to wait for like twenty minutes for the bus to arrive. <laughs> and it started raining, <laughs> oh, no. and I was so damn cold. When I got home, uh, I was still cold here, even though I had new cl- new warm clothes on. I still got the shivers and stuff. And then I got the text, you want to go play uh, disco tomorrow morning? And I was like, yeah, w- what's the weather like? Ah, just a bit windy. And I was like, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's the same wind as today, right? So, no. <laughs> Had enough of that. So, uh, I slept in today, woke up, looked out the window, no wind, the sun was up, <laughs> the weather was what? fine. Yeah. And I was like, ha. I can go playing disc golf today. Right. And then I heard my boss beat my score. Wow. And I started playing way before him. <laughs> so I should have been there. Shit. <laughs> now I need to step up my game next time. Yeah. Yeah. Disc golfing. Disc golfing. Actually. I bought a basic starter kit with uh, three discs. You did? Yeah. When? Yeah. When? Uh, it's quite some time ago. Uh, some time. Uh, have it's you used them? Just... No. No. <laughs> 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 have you seen? Have you seen outside? Yeah, but have they you said seen? Was, have you seen? It was quite some time ago. <laughs> I figured it might yeah. have been after I left uh, last summer. Yeah, well, it was like autumn, uh, May, perhaps even winter time. So. So yeah. next time I get up north, I don't have to share my discs with you. I can use my own use cheapo, own discs, cheapo <laughs> discs for my for my starter set, but they're mine. Yeah, <laughs> one of them is yellow, one is blue, and one is white. Am I right? <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. No, no. I'm just guessing. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm trying I'm not to sure. remember what discs I bought for the kids. They got the uh, two starter kits from me, hmm. as well as some of my old discs. Well, it was this super cheapo kit. It was like the price of those three discs would equal to the price of like one semi-average disc. Probably, so like, like yeah. 179 yeah, yeah. kroners or something. Ish. I don't remember. It was just like, oh, that's a starter disc set. And I said, buy this one. And yeah, I was yeah. like, a they, basic set they, they just to start really, out. They work with. really fine. A little bit cheap plastic, so if you hit a lot of trees, yeah. they will start acting a bit different. But but th- but at that point, when I've hit that amount of trees, I've been playing for so long that I probably want the but better discs. <laughs> so yeah, perhaps my disc game will uh, yeah will I, start improving I, once I actually start playing. Yeah, and we, we played disc of this summer. We took pictures of it. It's up on the internet. Yeah, people yeah. can go watch. But we had uh, a fourth guy with us and he also bought his own discs after i left yeah but not the cheap starter pack <laughs> <laughs> i think he bought a starter pack no i but, think he uh, bought single discs i think he bought what? starter packs as well for his girlfriend maybe and he bought real not real discs but <laughs> uh, like more expensive discs for himself damn that bastard at least a couple so he that, got that's better good. discs than me <laughs> and he also beat my score up in <laughs> the north. <laughs> yeah, <all that. laughs> after, beginner's luck. After I beginner's left. luck. So uh, this year when I get home, I will not be sharing many discs. <laughs> I, will be, <laughs> I will be going all out. <laughs> mm. I, I will of course share discs with uh, the villain Junior, because he does not have a starter kit. So no, can, but maybe I will. Maybe, Maybe I will you should <laughs> buy one. <laughs> Maybe I will get the biggest of them all. Biggest starter kits? They always come in threes. Hmm. The most and then expensive. we could all be like the super snobby guys saying, oh, we're going golfing this Sunday. Yeah. This yeah. golfing. Oh. <laughs> you, you don't say that, though. I'm going golfing. You say, ah, oh, we're going boys. golfing with my boys. <laughs> <laughs> with the boys. With them boys. Mm. That's a good show, by the way. Watching through it now. Season... Two. Middle of season two or something. The Boys on Amazon. Prime. Yeah. Prime, yeah. Prime Video. Prime Video. 
Yes. That's good. That's good. Uh, have Junior. You, have any of you seen the Wheel of Time yet? No, I haven't either. Okay. I should get to that. I've yeah. It's on Amazon Prime I just as well, barely indeed. got into the audiobooks. I just barely got into the audiobooks. So I should watch the show as well. Well, so did I. I'm at book eight. Mm. Yeah, and you asked of me Will if I've started the show, but you haven't seen the show, have you? No, but I read the books. Yeah. Up to book eight. You're like yeah. seven yeah. books ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, uh, they will release the uh, Lord of the Rings uh, TV show on Amazon Prime? Yeah, that Ooh, is baby. something you have to watch. Just because of the expense. Expense? Yeah, because it's the most valuable TV show made. Oh yeah, I'm, well, I'm just thinking I have to watch it because it was one of the my childhood memories. Just like living through the... <laughs> Not the books, but the movies for me. It's like yeah, 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 but yeah, but the series the first not... movie released well, and was the, the like an is, epic. Is, is the TV show will that be a prequel or a sequel to the movies? As I have figured it out, it's a prequel, okay. but don't quote me on it. I think it's set in a couple of thousand years before the movies. Yeah, I think ah, I've heard so that as well. Before the Hobbit, even. Yeah. Also, uh, HBO will be releasing uh, House of Fire, the prequel show to um, Game, Game of, of Thrones. Thrones. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot happening in the TV world. Exciting stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, speaking of TV shows and whatnot, uh, Netflix had a show <laughs> called uh, The Punisher. Yes. Junior, you had some uh, words. Yeah, it's <laughs> non, non, not just a word. Some of the boys told me I could watch The Punisher without watching... <laughs> that would not be me. <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool? Um, mm, no, not Deadpool. <laughs> Daredevil. <laughs> Daredevil. <laughs> Daredevil. Daredevil. <laughs> Mixing some IPs yeah. here. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you didn't mention is... I, I looked it up. The Punisher is... In about 12 episodes of Daredevil. Yeah. Uh, it's in the entire second season, I believe. <laughs> yeah. And the whole plots evolve around Punisher in Daredevil. Season 2. <laughs> and they keep constantly quoting it in the beginning of Punisher. And yeah, you got a lot, lot... Yeah, because he went on a rampage killing everybody. <laughs> But why haven't you watched uh, Daredevil? It was the best show of the, the that uh, series. Of the lot. I j I I'm watching it. I shall. I will watch Daredevil soon. Good, because Daredevil and Punisher will be the ones you watch, and you will stay away. Uh, Jessica Jones is okay, but you will stay away from Luke Cage and Iron Fist and the Defenders. Yeah, and mm. Arrow and Flash and everything. Different universe. Different universe. That's DC. <coughs> yeah. But I will yeah. still keep away from them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I go saw, back I to saw, my... I, I saw the entire uh, DC universe uh, evolving around uh, Arrow, Flash and everything up until Arrow ended and then I just uh, jumped ship from all the other shows as well. Because they kept adding to it all the fucking time. <laughs> what? Have you... Are you still adding to it? Not now, but they did for a while. You, first it was Arrow, then they introduced uh, The Flash, which was fun enough in the beginning. And uh, then you got um, the third show was Legends of Tomorrow, where they used uh, side characters from Arrow and Flash to create a new team of heroes. Uh, then they added Supergirl. Uh, Batgirl! Batgirl, yeah, and they... In but what they did uh, good in Legends of Tomorrow was they brought back uh, Constantine from an older show with the same name, same character. But that show got cancelled after 13 episodes and they brought in the same actor to play Constantine again for that show. And that's good. He was a good, uh, he's a good actor. He was a fun Constantine. But the uh, thing got woke as fuck as time went on. 
Told yeah, it's a, it's a rumor that Batgirl is such a bad show, it's good. It started out bad, with Ruby Rose as the main character, as, uh, as Batgirl, and she quit or something after one season. Uh, so they had to write in a new Batgirl for season two. So I think what happened then there was Batgirl went away and a plane crashed or exploded or something and the bat suit fell down from the sky and some other person picked it up and there we have a new Batgirl. Suddenly Batgirl, <laughs> just find the bat suit and you become the Batgirl. Yeah. Yes, that's how it works. And the first Batgirl was okay. lesbian, mind you. And the second Super one. Super woke. And the... the, the <laughs> Yeah, I think actually the character uh, is lesbian even in the comic books or bisexual or something. Uh, but that aside, um, the new girl, they took it a step further. I think she's still queer or something. And she's also black. Because black lives matter. Hmm. Well, how the, could uh, we make this more politically correct? I was like, <sighs> force, just force all of it in. Just. Yeah, how yeah, much yeah. more can we force in? <laughs> um, <laughs> Just, uh, how could they make it more um, PC in today's she, including? Uh, she has a, a black uh, gay dwarf as a sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know the, the next James Bond? Well, the, with, with why does he have to be... She is black. Why does she also need a black gay dwarf? Oh, fuck. Can't he be a Asian white one. gay dwarf? No, Asian, Asian, dwarf. <laughs> Asian gay. gay dwarf. Yeah. Don't forget, you need to represent the Latinos as well. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Eastern uh, Asian uh, small person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Midget. Uh, as I said, uh, the Eastern Asian. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Moving on. The next James Bond <laughs> will be appealing to the Woke Brigade. Will it? He will it hasn't he been will... announced. No, it hasn't. Oh, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just bullshitting you now. It, he will start okay. out as a man. He will. He will transgender into a woman, and the movie will be called 007 Cocktopus. <laughs> well, I can imagine. Oh, they know his identity, so he needs to. <laughs> to find a new identity. So he <laughs> goes under the knife. Like a stealth yeah, mission. Doesn't they basically do that in the new James Bond movie? He's not the one anymore. <laughs> he's just James Bond. And he have to go back into MI6. And the security guards uh, stop him. And he's like, they're like, who are you? And he's like, I'm Bond. James Bond. <laughs> yeah, I haven't watched uh, I haven't watched it either. I just heard it. Yeah. Because apparently he's retired in the last movie, No Time to Die. And he has to mm -hmm. get his ID back and stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, I think, though, Idris Elba is in the running for the next Bond. That would be cool. Who? Idris Elba. Idris Elba. He's a good actor, though. He's a real good actor. He played Heimdall in uh, MCU. He's black. He's big. He's black. <laughs> he's black. <laughs> and he, but he's British. <laughs> so, so they will keep that constant. Uh, I don't think he should be yeah. a Bond. I think he could do a really good Bond. When, how many years do you think will pass before British isn't PC enough? What? Oh, you can't the, the, be British because that's not politically correct. <laughs> that's the most correct. English you have if the... No, but it's not politically correct in uh, 2030. <laughs> Being British. You can't have all British bonds. That's unfair. You need one Asian bond. And you need an Australian bond. And you need <laughs> uh, an American bond. No, no, <laughs> like, no. The... They have a CIA. Dude, I'm yeah. just saying. Bond has... Where does uh, the uh, PC end? Uh, America have a CIA agent going through many of the bonds. Called Felix Leiter. He's in a lot of the Bond movies. He helps Bond. Hmm. I have no memory of this character. He's black in the new movies. <laughs> he's, I have no he's, memory he's of in this Casino character. Real, uh, and he's in Quantum of Solace. At the very least. I think he's oh. in three, of, three or four of the movies. No, but... 
going back to this Australian bond, I can imagine it. Oh, you yeah. mate! <laughs> My name is oh, James uh, Bond. He tried to. Get he, fucked. He, he tried. Get fucked. He tried to have a <laughs> have a British accent. No, no, no. But uh, no, uh, no, just no. Uh, no. And Black Bond, no, no, no. Idris Elba is a super good actor, and give him some other agent number, or let him be an agent for someone else, just not James Bond. That's a white dude, and so is it. No, oh, I, I can imagine him giving a good Bond. Give him a shot. A vaccine. <laughs> At the Everyone roll. should get a shot of vaccine. <laughs> Everyone should get a shot of vaccine. <laughs> No, <coughs> Bond is a white man, and you know, once you go black, you never go back, and Bond is a ladies' man, and he needs to be white. <laughs> if he goes black, he will stay black forever. And with that... I don't think that's how that saying goes, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not. <laughs> no, no, but with just Bond is a, is a white guy. It says so in the books. He's described as a white male. He's a white male. White British male. Why, why, why do the blacks need to take everything the white man has? Have. <laughs> well, then just make a movie that you're Martin Luther King or something. Yeah. Or come up with a new, <laughs> yeah. age. Come up with a new age and make it a side story to Bond. A, a new main story with other characters that's not James Bond. Bond is Bond. Other characters is other characters. There you go. Hmm. And with that, is it time? Yeah, it's time. I think it is. With that, if you guys, our listeners, want to ask us something, uh, call us out on something, uh, give us critique or uh, hate. No, yeah, no, yeah. Well, anyway. Suggestions. <laughs> Suggestions to topics. W- want us to talk about whatever. Just send us a mail at uh, tipsywednesday at gmail.com or write to us in our Facebook group. And remember to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, join our Discord server, and of course YouTube. And there you can see us. And if you like our work, please support us in the link below. Yes. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye.